Hi, I'm Mike Smith, and I'd like to tell you about my app, Synth Guitar. At the top of the screen is a guitar fingerboard, initially showing the notes for an E major chord. At different fret positions, above and to the left is a green question mark for context-sensitive help at any time. And next to that is the current MIDI instrument and the electric jazz guitar. Immediately below the fingerboard are the notes of the frets on the first and sixth strings. Touching one of these changes the root note of the chords and the key with the appropriate sharps and flats according to the key signature. Let's change to C. Below the fingerboard is a table, initially of chord types and modifiers, but as you will see later, it can also show different scales, chord styles or musical notation. At the bottom left, the current chord is shown in black, with its current inversion or chord shape in red. To the right of this are two rows of buttons, which do all the hard work of accessing the various modes of operation. The app was designed principally for a tablet, but if the screen is too small for fingertips on a phone, a stylus may help. You can play the notes on the fingerboard at any time by touching between the frets. Or below the note for an open string. Just like on a normal guitar. On an Android device, the notes can be louder or softer depending on how hard you press. Multiple strings can sound at once, depending on the sustain setting shown on the note button. Touching this will cycle through different note lengths. Damp gives a pizzicato note. Note plays each note until the next note is touched. Fret lets the note ring unless played on the same string, similar to a real guitar. And ring keeps the notes playing regardless, similar to an undamped vibraphone or piano. Touch above the fingerboard to silence any notes playing. The notes touch will be indicated in pink for a beat. The current instrument can be changed by touching and highlighting the instrument button and then left or right or at random. All 128 MIDI instruments have been sampled and can be cycled through. Touch the pitch button to cycle through the available pitch ranges. Bass, tenor, a standard guitar, alto, soprano or perk, accessing all 54 MIDI percussion sounds. Which can also be played on the fingerboard but are not recorded or played as chords or scales. There are some percussion instruments though that can be. The different types of percussion are colour coded and the percussion sound will be shown on the top left instead of the instrument. Synth guitar's primary function is to show the relationship of positions on the fingerboard to each other, to musical notes and degrees and to chords, scales, modes and relative modes. It's important to learn which notes and degrees make up different chords and scales. The app shows these with colour coding, note names and all the positions for each note on the fingerboard. Chords can be built up from major or minor triads, sevenths, diminished, 
or augmented forms and then have extensions and altered notes added. Extended 9th, 11th or 13th chords can be built on the dominant 7th, major 7th or minor 7th. Altered notes such as a flat 5th or a sharp 9th can then be added up to 2 per chord. All of these combinations are shown on the fingerboard in the current key and the notes are colour coded to help you to relate to the sound. The type of information shown on each note can be varied by touching the information button. This will cycle through notes, degrees, extended degrees, colours only or none at all. Chord notes are shown in all positions. Touch box for a finger guide, which can be moved up or down. This is only intended as a guide. Some chords or scales may require a finger above or below the box, but it is fairly easy to see from the note shown. Scales can be shown by touching scale and choosing one from the table. Arpeggio Place the notes of a chord or a scale. At random, down or up. There are a number of common scales on the top row, a few more esoteric ones below, and modes or relative modes on the lower two rows. This allows you to see the relationship between modes and a standard major scale. As you can see, the notes are the same, but the relative scale starts from a different root note. Return to a mode or a scale before going back to chords or the finger positions will be wrong. Chord shapes can be shown in white by touching and highlighting chord. The different shapes and inversions for the current chord can be seen up and down the fingerboard and the current inversion is shown on the right and after the chord name on the left. When a chord shape is shown, the whole chord can be played by touching the lowest root note. not necessarily on the chord shape. This is useful in comparing the sound of different types of chord. Other notes can be played individually. Alternatively, the chord can be played automatically by touching and highlighting the style button. Choose one of the styles shown on the table. These are arranged in simple strums or with alternating bass notes or as arpeggios and picks in distinctive finger styles. The latter sound best with 16th notes Select silent to revert to manual play or silence. 
The notes being played will be shown yellow on the fingerboard. The tempo can be lowered by touching or raised by touching If the tempo is not right because of a slower processor, this can be corrected in melody mode, as I will explain later. Touching the time signature cycles through the number of beats per bar, and the beat value. Stars are based on eighth beats, so the number of beats per chord changes up to two bars that is 16th 8 notes. Stars have 8, 12 or 16 beats, but only the number of beats or the length of the style are repeated. Synth guitar can also be used as a musical instrument, albeit not with the same facility as a real guitar obviously, either in real time or by recording solos, melodies and chord sequences, saving them and playing them back in tempo. Although the performance and accurate timing of the Android device depends on the CPU speed and other activities being carried out at the time. To record, save and playback sequences of chord solos or even whole tunes, touch songs to save or load a collection of songs when prompted for a single file name in the dialog box, which will be displayed on an Android device together with a keyboard. New songs can be added, or existing ones deleted. Step through the songs backwards or forwards. When adding a song on an Android device, a dialog box and keyboard will be displayed. At present, save is irreversible, so don't save with the same file name unless you are satisfied with your changes. On the other hand, Changes will be lost if the program exits without saving. If a song is deleted by mistake, save the collection with a different file name, then reload it with the original. Save will be highlighted if there have been any changes since the last load. Touching solo allows one to be recorded when record is also highlighted by touching the play button. Notes can be played on the fingerboard in real time. Notes can be rested by touching above the fingerboard. If record is not highlighted, the notes recorded will be played back. Notes will be quantized according to the tempo and beat value on the lower right. Sixteenth notes are the smallest note length. Playback can be at a different tempo. Alternatively, if recording or playback is paused, notes can be stepped through backwards or forwards and then individually erased or changed by playing a note on the fingerboard. A series of new notes can be inserted. The note number, total number of notes, string and fret recorded is shown on the right. Touching melody allows a harmonised melody to be recorded manually, one note, rest, repeat or sign at a time. To add a note, first select a duration from the top row, then play a note on the fingerboard. If no note is then added, the last note is extended with a tie. Otherwise a new note will be added. If further notes are played without a duration selected first, they will be added to the previous note as a chord with the same duration as the first note. To add a rest, just select the duration from the second line. A further rest is tied to the previous one. Repeats and signs are added in the same way, usually before the note they will affect. 
The melody notes can be stepped through, backwards or forwards, added to or deleted. The play button plays the melody and shows the tab of the music, with the notes shown as positions on the six strings, with modifiers and musical symbols above. If the timing is wrong, try backwards or forwards while playing to alter the frame rate. Pause by touching the play button again. When paused, the tab can be stepped through bar by bar. Pressing sequence allows a chord sequence to be recorded manually, one chord at a time. First, choose a style. This can be changed at any time within the piece or during the playback. Touch style again to revert to chord shapes to select the desired chord. Select chord to choose the inversion or chord shape that you want to be played. Ensure that the number of beats is correct, as the stars are in eighths, except picks which are in sixteenths. Two beats give a quarter bar, four beats a half bar, eight beats a whole bar, and sixteen beats two bars. Three, four, six, eight, five, four, or ten, eight timing is similar. Then touch add to add the chord to the list on the right. The chord sequence can be stepped through backwards or forwards and added to after the highlighted chord or the highlighted chord can be deleted. The chord sequence can then be played or paused with the play button. This may all sound very complicated at first, but with familiarity it becomes much faster to do, to do than it takes to describe. A whole song can be entered from sheet music or created on the fly and then played back to either accompany you or for you to accompany on your guitar. I must stress that this app is just a teaching and learning guide. It does not claim to be a replacement for a real guitar or all the subtleties of guitar playing which needs two hands, ten fingers and a real guitar. Different rhythms, hammer-ons, slides, bends, vibrato etc are not implemented here. But I hope the app does encourage you to play a real guitar and learn the shapes and sounds of many different chords and scales and explore new rhythms.